Hey, hey, Lynn Huber here. I am um, so excited to be here. I'm really excited to offer you some training on how to build your Avon business online because I find that it's difficult to know how to build online and what to do on a daily basis to keep your business moving forward. It's important to always be looking for new people to talk to, but then again, it's also important to do the income producing activities and make sure that you follow up with current customers, potential customers and recruits. So I recently took another training on how to build online and I've integrated some of that into this training today. So now we have a tracker. This is our tracker, a simple business tracker that, um, that I've created. And this tracker is going to help you to know what you need to do on a daily, weekly, and a per campaign basis to stay productive in your business and keep your business moving forward. The tracker is going to provide you with helpful step-by-step -step checklists to allow you to not focus on the noise and focus on what needs to get done that day. So I'm going to share my screen here and hopefully this will be helpful to you in your business. And then hopefully you can use this on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a per campaign basis, and it will even give you some ideas about how to create conversations online and how to stay consistent on social media. So, okay. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Perfect. Um, so I can show you this track, this tracker. Okay. So it's called the simple business, um, simple online business tracker to grow your Avon business online. So the internet has leveled the playing field for Avon reps. So no matter where you live, or if you can't get out of the house, you can still grow your business online. It's just really opened up the whole United States to us. And the purpose of this tracker is to get consistent in your business and hold yourself accountable for your success. So everything in this tracker plays a big role in personal development, business growth, and consistency in, your, in the process. The only way we build our business is with consistent action. Even if you can only do the one thing forward that moves your business forward every day. You know, we all know. I mean, life happens, right? Things happen. And then sometimes you just have to spend time. You just don't have the time to spend in your business every single day. So this tracker will help you to at least get that one thing done. If you know if there's if you can't put time into your business that day, at least you can get that one thing done that's the most important. Okay, so let's let's move on to the next page here. Um, I know that it's it might sound you know seriously it might sound weird, right? But and but I, I want you to read this over and over again. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it helps, right? It helps to kind of remind yourself because it's so easy to get stuck and to spin out of the rut that of what we do every day. And it's so easy to forget. And it's also helpful to read through this before you get to your tracker every day, just to, just so that your mindset's in the right place, right? So number one, give yourself grace. No one is perfect. We all mess up, right? All of us fall off the wagon. We're human beings after all. And like I mentioned earlier, life happens. So, and then allow yourself the opportunity to work on yourself and, and in your business. Um, this is one of the biggest factors that's going to help you be more successful in your business. And when you allow yourself the self-care and the personal development that we very much so, so need in order to grow that mindset spiritually, emotionally, physically, and business-wise. So actively work on your belief system every morning. There's going to be um, an activity in here that's going to show you how to do this on a daily basis. And it's really short and to the point and very targeted because I know we don't have a lot of time to do the things that we need to do. We barely have the time to work on our business, right? But but it's so important. And I know some people have their miracle morning and some have this whole hour or two process for their morning routine, but I put together a very simple process that's short and to the point and it allows me to work on my belief system, maintain my belief system and keep that growing and healthy. Because if you don't have a belief system in yourself and your business, you can't grow your business. You've heard that saying, right, that your, that your um, income follows your personal development. It is so true. If you can't learn to get out of your way and get out of your mind and just work on your business, you're not going to make the money you want to make. And if you don't believe in yourself, it just won't happen. It can't. So doing these training exercises where you're training your brain to think differently, training the mindset to think the way it's supposed to be thinking, and then you're going to be well on your way to growing that successful business for yourself. So here's another reminder. Um, I'm not the only one that has spent way too much time on their business and then forgetting about the ones we love, right? So make sure to remind yourself after you're done with your tracker 
um, after you're done with your activities and after you, you, you get your well-deserved time into your business where you're super intentional and doing what you need to do, I mean, put your phone away and just work on your business during the time that you have allotted to it. That's how you create that work-life balance. So then <clears throat> if, you're, um, if you're starting to feel overwhelmed or stressed, then step away, right? Immediately go do something else that gives you joy so that you can come back refreshed and ready to go. We all need breaks. So step away when you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed because this, this can, um, you know, things can start to build up and then you're feeling too overwhelmed and that your productivity is going to not be that great because you're just not feeling it. So you're not feeling like you want to work. You're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe there's some something else outside that's distracting you. So if you need to, then step away and refresh. It's totally okay. So maybe go outside. Maybe take a walk. Go do some stretching or meditation. Um, do some affirmations or gratitude. Work on yourself so that you can come back to this activity with a fresh mind and a fresh outlook. And um, then you'll have then you'll have the best version of you, right? And that best version of you will be displayed online. And it's not only displayed for your customers or your team and the people around you, but also for your family. And it's more than just your business. You know, this, this personal development and, and doing the things you love, it encompasses everything, who you are, the things you love, and the things that you're passionate about. And then the consistency brings results. So keep at it every single day, every single week. This is a very repetitive thing you're going to hear from me because it's all about the consistency. So the next portion is the daily care self-development um, part of it. So you need to fuel your mind in order to be able to work your business and be actually present in it and give people the best vision of yourself, right? So here's what you want to do daily to stay mentally and physically and emotionally healthy. This is essential for personal growth and growing in a healthy way. So also for growing success for yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and of course, financially. So I keep it really simple. Everybody has a different process when it comes to their morning routine. So if you have your own, that's totally okay. I like this one because it's really simple and there's just not a lot of extra in it. It's just bare minimum. And I know we're all really busy. And so I wanted to keep this short so that we can make it happen, right? Some of, the, some of you have many things going on. Some of you still have full-time jobs, or you care for multiple kids, or maybe you're even caring for your parents. You know, it's I, I understand Avon isn't your whole life, right? And you just don't have the time. And so this gives you at least something to work with, even if it's just two out of, out of the few things in here that you're managing to do every day. So this is what's going to help you grow and stay consistent in your business. So first off, wake up, make your bed, get ready for the day, right? What's your go-go juice? For me, it's coffee. I have to have my coffee. So whatever it is for you, coffee, tea, um, if you have an energy drink that you like to take in the morning, there you go, use that. So for me, it's coffee. And then we get into um, three gratitudes and three affirmations. So take out a piece of paper or pull out your journal and write these down. Then write down your three gratitudes. What are you grateful for today? True happiness comes from the things that you can find gratitude in, right? So find those three things that you're grateful for and write them down. And then write three affirmations. What are three affirmations that you can say about yourself? Maybe you could be, it could be things that you're struggling with mentally. So for me right now, I'm working on being a better speaker because that's one thing I feel like I need to work on. But here's a few more. You could say, I am brave today. I am worthy of all the things I want in my life. Um, good things are coming my way. There you go. That's three affirmations, right? And then just continue this every day. Keep it really simple. You don't have to think too hard about it. Just make it a habit every day. And then the next one here, spend 10 to 15 minutes for, or spend 10 minutes for self-care. You know, whether it's walking outside or yoga or meditating, maybe you put on a face mask and you relax. Maybe you're just taking the time to just think or sitting outside drinking your coffee and watching the sunrise. Take those 10 minutes that you need to fully absorb and, and fully take in that self-care. And then spend 10 to 15 minutes on personal development. Um, watch an Avon training, listen to a podcast, read a book, or do something that's going to expand your mind. So this kind of looks like a morning routine, right? But if you can't get this all done in the morning, that's totally cool. If you need to spread it out through that throughout the day, that's totally okay. So, you know, like spending 10 to 15 minutes on personal development, 
um, whether that's a podcast or a book, or maybe it's a training from someone you admire. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but anyway, spend that time for yourself because you really need it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be in the day, in the morning. You know, you can schedule that for when that works best for you in the day, right? But it's all about fueling your brain. And that's what's going to have to be successful. You're providing your brain the energy it needs so that you can believe in yourself and be productive. This is how you train your brain to do better for you. Then you can show up as your best version of yourself for you, for yourself, for your family, and everyone else. And then that last one, be sure to spend time doing what you love with your family. You know, love on your family and kids. Um, Don't neglect your family. Don't, Don't neglect what you love to do. These are all really important in your life. So let's go on to the checklist. Let's start at the very top, daily checklist for beginners. So now you can can add on to this and you can customize it for your needs. This is just a great place to get started if you're brand new and you don't know where to start, right? Especially if you're just learning to build your business online. But business in general, income producing activities, that's what you need to get done, right? This is your no brainer daily, what you can be incorporating into your business to move your business forward every single day. This tracker is going to make it so that you can easily be able to see what you need to do. And it will help you stay consistent, there's that word again, with income producing activities. So we start off with making a Facebook or an Instagram post, one to two times a day. You know, you could do one in the morning, one in the evening. Posting your stories, three to five a day. So that could be like, two graphics and three story sequences where you're talking into the story. You know, I have a friend, Jessica Zumba, she's an Avon rep and she's amazing at this. She literally just talks in and just takes her audience on a little trip with her all day long, what she's doing all day. So find her on Facebook and follow her because you'll learn a lot from her. And you know, your your stories, it could be partially business, it could be partially products, it could be three stories of you and your family or if you doing something you love or maybe you picking up your favorite coffee, or you going for a walk, or maybe where you're sharing the behind the scenes stuff that you're doing in your business, right? This is where people are getting to know you. That's how that, you know, that's that builds that know, like, and trust, right? And then the last two, asking people about the business, maybe putting a little poll in there at the very end, you know, maybe talking about products. So you can really get as creative as you want in your stories. Helpful hack though, here when it comes to your stories, Talk about your business at least once or twice throughout the week. Share the opportunity once or twice throughout the week in your stories. You know, do some recruiting for your business. And you can do that in the one to three story sequences if you want. You can talk about your business. You can share behind the scenes or how you work on your business. and Create that invite. Share about a webinar or an event you have coming up that you want to invite people to. Or maybe share a little story about how your Avon business benefits you right? Share some graphics. Just keep it really simple. When it comes to products, I would sprinkle in between your stories, um, curiosity marketing about your products every day, right? You can share your morning or evening skincare routine where you're showing how you use your products. You know, it's not necessarily talking about your products all the time. You can here and there, right? But you're sprinkling them in, making sure your your viewers are actually viewing your content because they don't want to see your, your products or your opportunity all the time. They want to know who you are. They want to get to know you. And you're, they're going to actually be viewing your content if you're providing them something of value or something that they are interested in. And then you sprinkle the business in between, right? Um, and then viewing the products, it's that product exposure. And then you're sharing your life, right? You're sharing your behind the scenes. You're sharing what you love. You're sharing your family. You're sharing what you're doing that day. You're just being authentic in your stories, sharing something funny that happened, something that shows who you are. And when it comes to this piece about about stories, some people post a lot every single day. Some people post minimum. In this tracker, you're only required to post three to five. So on your busy days, if you feel like you just don't have the time, here you go. So share um, a motivational graphic. Maybe the next one then is something about your product. Maybe it's you applying your makeup or just your mascara, right? Or maybe wearing your jewelry that we sell or putting the collagen powder in your morning coffee and talk about how much you love them. And then the third one, do a this or that image or something that promotes engagement. So add a poll or ask a question or add a question and answer box, right? So that's your minimum, right? And then that's, that's the minimum that you need to do. And so the next part is to start three to 10 conversations with people who comment on your posts. So you made one to two posts per day, right? So anybody who comments on them, reply to those. 
and start a conversation. You know, don't just heart it or just like it. I would ask a question back, start a conversation. Or maybe send them a private message. Say, hello, how's your how's life, right? Uh, be careful you don't look spammy. You know, we get a lot of those. But if, you, if, you were, um, if you're coming from the heart and you're genuine, people will pick up on that. So you could say something like, hey, I didn't realize we were friends here on Facebook. Tell me a little bit about yourself or what do you do for a living? Start that conversation because those conversations are going to be the breeding ground for opportunity for you. Whether it's selling your products or recruiting, this is what's going to be the breeding ground for that. And your goal is to create those connection pieces. In order to do that, you have to engage with people. People are not just going to automatically hop into your inbox just straight away and ask you about products. They usually won't. You have to initiate that connection. So you want to start three to ten conversations a day, even if it's just people watching your stories. You know, you could somebody watched your story. You can see who watched it. You can send them a little message. Hey, thanks for watching my story. You know, I, I start the conversation. I see you live in somewhere where X, right? I live in X and start that conversation. So, or maybe they're reacting to your stories. They're hearting it. They're loving it. Or maybe they're saying something like, oh my gosh, I love your earrings. Or how did you get your eyeshadow like that? Or you can reply and say, thank you so much. How's it going? I love your hair too. Or how are the kids? Or I didn't realize we were friends here. Where are you from? Or, or you can even say, how do we know each other? Just be a human being. That's the whole point here. And of course, the more conversations you have, the more opportunity you're creating for yourself in your business. And then the last one, post your reel or TikTok. So if you're using Instagram and posting reels, and you could post this on Facebook too, on, on reels, make sure that you put your reel that you have in your drafts and go ahead and edit it, add your subtitles, add your hashtags, add your caption, and go ahead and post it for the day. I'm going to talk a little bit later about batching the creation of these so that it can save you time. Download that reel and then upload it into Facebook reels. It's all about repurposing your content here and getting the most of it. You know, as long as your Facebook and your Instagram align as far as business goes, then how you're promoting yourself and your brand, then you can definitely have two of those. Those two have the same reel. In fact, make the most of it. Go add, take it and add it to YouTube or TikTok or LinkedIn and Pinterest. You know, take that one video and put it on all of your social media. Make the most out of it so that you don't have to keep doing more work. It's doing the work for you. So that's a checklist for beginners. It's the bare minimum. And even if you just do one of these a day, at least you're doing something, right? So don't miss these daily activities. Obviously, to grow faster, you want to do them all. But even if you can just do one a day, you're busy at work, you have a lot of things going on, these things are going to keep you consistent. They're going to keep you moving your business forward just a little bit every single day. I'm also going to include a PDF below this video about what to post on social media. It's going to give you like 150 post ideas that you can adopt. And then you'll have those 150 ideas on what you can post on your feed to encourage conversations, show up with value, and also show up in your brand. So let's go to the next page, which is weekly tasks. So, <clears throat> so your Avon campaign starts on Wednesday and it ends on Tuesday. You want to create an Avon book text list to stay in touch with your customers and be able to send them the, Ag the Avon digital brochure link. I talk about this in other trainings. You don't want to do this manually one by one. I mean, if you have to, you have to, right? If you really, if you don't have any money and, you know, sometimes I teach that your business is a combination of money and effort. And if you don't have money, you need to put more effort. And if you don't have a lot of time, you need to put more money. But it's finding that balance for your business, right? But it, it'd be most effective if you have an Avon book digital text list that you can send send to your, your customers or your prospects. So the first day of the campaign, you'll, tell, you'll text them a welcome to campaign, whatever, X, right? And then send them a digital brochure link. And then on the second Wednesday, you'll text them with a reminder that campaign X will be closing soon. And if there's anything they want, they may look, want to take a look at their brochure and give them a link to the digital brochure. That second text sort of acts like a reminder. It's sort of a follow-up. I find I get better response from this one. I mean, think about it. You text people, welcome to campaign, whatever, X. They're busy. They're at the doctor. They're shopping. They're giving a kid a bath or whatever. And so they see it and they go, oh, good, I'll look at it later. But by the time they get home later that day or they get to have time, your text has scrolled down the list of a full day's worth of texts. And 
and they don't see it. They completely space it off, right? And then you send that second text the next Wednesday. That seems to add a little bit of urgency. So if they wanted to look, now they're going to make it a priority. Um, check out the special offers on Avon.com and think about what you can promote. This will give you some great ideas about what to, what products to focus on this campaign. And then be sure to use your Avon promotion tool. This is huge. Avon does, I mean, Avon provides this for you and it's a great way to, to offer deals to your customers to get them to come back, right? I create one promotion a week and I just have it last a week because that urgency, if they have too much time, they won't do it, right? And then my customers get two offers every campaign. So that gives them more reasons to come back to your Avon online store. So then think about creating an email list so you can stay in touch with your customers regularly. Avon doesn't provide a way to email your customers from our website that I know of, at least not right now. And so with, with your own Avon, I mean, your own email list, you're maintaining control over your customers' contact information. So um, those are kind of the things you should be doing weekly. And let's look at what we should do every campaign. So if you're using Campaign Mailer, be sure to schedule brochures to be mailed out. I use both Campaign Mailer for my paper brochures and Project Broadcast for my Avon book text list. I mail paper brochures to the people who prefer, that, prefer them. You know, the truth is I would like to mail paper brochures to everyone because I believe it gives them more of a reason to go to the website and order. But that can get expensive. So for me, it's a balance, right? I decide who's going to get a brochure in the mail. Usually those are my older ladies that maybe need more help or customers who have actually requested one and people who are pretty ordering pretty regularly. You know, they're the ones that are going to get a paper brochure. Everyone else is going to get a digital brochure. You'll figure out what works best for you as you get going. You'll find that balance. And you don't even have to use a paper brochure if you don't want to. That's up to you, right? So check to see what Avon Live shopping events are happening that are coming up. Use those to your advantage. Avon's doing all the work. And you just have to promote them, get your customers there, and then you reap the rewards with sales and commissions. We all like money in our pocket, right? And then while you're at that, be sure to check the Avon calendar on Avon.com to see what upcoming trainings and events are coming up to help you. And then keep track of your numbers. As an Avon representative, it's your job to grow your business. You want to be intentional and you want to do all the income producing activities, but it's also important to know where you stand. So for instance, if you're a new rep, Right now, that and that may change if you're watching this at a later date, you know. But anyway, right now, with a hundred dollar order, you get some freebies and extra earnings. So if you look at your numbers, you can go to your um, dashboard on, on Avon.com and you can look at your numbers. And if you're close but you're not quite at a hundred dollars yet, then knowing your numbers is going to help you so you can give it that extra push and make it happen. If you didn't know your numbers, you're just going to lose out. What if you see that you're at $85 and you only need 15 more dollars? Well, you could place a $15 order or maybe you can promote something to get more online orders or, or something to get to make it happen, right? If you're in leadership, knowing your numbers is especially important. Okay, so the next page is Follow-Up Friday. Follow-Up Friday is big because this is going to keep you consistent with all of your leads and all following up with all of your potentials. So here's what we do. So every week, print out your customer orders, um, all of the customers you had last week. Print it out, and if you can't or don't want to print it out, you can save it in an Excel spreadsheet or, or do a print screen or something. Save it on your desktop. You want to email or mail, preferably, um, thank you postcards to your new customers. But here's what I do. I send a thank you card from Send Out Cards. It's super easy, and I can add pictures and customize it as much as I want. I actually have the Send Out Cards Unlimited package. It's like $97 or $99 a month, I think. But I pay that, and then I can send as many cards as I want. We also have plans for 30 cards a month, or you can pay for each card if you want as you go. So, I mean, there's no commitment unless you want to. And it's actually quite reasonable. Um, it's less expensive than going and buying a card, right? So that that's what I do. And if it's a large order, I sometimes add brownies to make it special. You'd be amazed. My customers get so excited and they love it. And they just, they love me because of it. So if you don't want to spend that though, get a box of thank you cards and manually write on them and mail them out. The key is to make sure that your customer feels important and appreciated. So then the next one is to follow up with new customers for order arrival. So every Friday, check in with the customers that you had that placed that order and say, hey, did you get your order in? Um, if so, awesome. Have you opened anything yet? Or 
here's your next step or what questions can I answer for you or, you know, whatever, depending on what they ordered and where the conversation goes, you know how to do it. Just provide customer service, right? You want to make sure that everybody got their order. And then any new customers, add them to your automated follow-ups. Decide if you're going to mail brochures to them or add them to your Avon book text list and add them to any follow-up texts for each, each campaign. I do this every day. I don't wait till Friday. I do it every day as I receive new customers and orders and potential recruits. They immediately get added to my complete automated follow-up system. But if you haven't done it already, make sure it get, gets done as part of your follow-up Friday. Just kind of that extra, make sure it happens because it's important, right? You want to continue to build the relationship with them and let them know that you're serious about your business. This is huge all by itself in growing your business. I'll add a link to our automate your follow-ups training below this video as well. And then finally, follow up with three to 10 product and prospect leads. So we have two separate items, right? This is anybody that you've started conversations with, either in Facebook Messenger or from your daily checklist. You want to revisit some of these. Go through and follow up. Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to check in. You know, at the very bottom of this tracker, I'm going to give you some scripts to show you exactly what to say and how to start conversations and how to pivot to a transition to sales or recruiting. Okay, so um, so that's that's the follow up Friday. So now I have this one other one called the Daily Power Hour. This is not an original idea. I borrowed this from someone else and I decided to, to kind of create my own based on what I did in my business and what most people tend to do when it comes to growing their business online. But the daily power hour is perfect for those that just don't have time in your business and you only have an hour to spend. Then this is where you would focus your efforts, right? And the truth is, I find I get more done if I have a limited amount of time because I have that sense of urgency. Have you ever noticed like if you're at your job and you know that you're um, going on vacation tomorrow and you have to get all this stuff done. Have you ever noticed how much you can get done when you have that urgency there? So it's the same thing here, right? There's no sitting back and following, following into that Facebook hole or getting lost in a conversation with someone or taking a phone call or getting lost on TikTok, right? So this helps keep you on point because it's very specific to a certain amount of time. You only have that certain amount of time to complete certain tasks. So that really sort of lights a fire under your booty and it keeps you going because you know you just don't have a lot of time. And you'll find that you're getting your work done faster. And when you're getting your work done faster, you're making more strides in your business. So let's break this down a little bit. So basically the, the daily power hour is how to get a productive power hour in. So it's how to get those income producing activities done in 60 minutes or less. So let me show you. So every day, First 15 minutes, start conversations and add people to your network. Comment on five to 10 profile stories and posts. So anybody that's on your friends list, you're gonna spend 15 minutes commenting on five to 10 people's posts on Facebook. Not only does this help your algorithm, but it helps other people see your, your content more. And so these are gonna be new people that you're gonna to wanna to engage with because they're gonna see you, right? If you're engaging with their content, they're going to be more likely to see you. So these are people maybe that you want to start conversations with. But right now, you're just commenting and on their, on their posts, right? And when they see you in your posts, then they will start to want to engage in your posts. And then they realize, oh, she sells that thing. She sells Avon or she sells, you know, whatever. And so they may decide to join your business. You know, you never know down the road, right? So you're not promoting yourself. You're just natural commenting and interactions with other people's posts. You just want to create that awareness of yourself. So that's kind of the purpose of the first one. And then the next one, message people who are active on Facebook. So, hey, how's it going? At least two a day. So this is your bare minimum here, right? So earlier with the daily checklist, it's like start three conversations daily. This is in addition to that. So when you do your daily checklist, this right here, your power hour is on top of that. You know, if, and this is if you want to do this, right? But so once you do all the things on your daily checklist, then this is going to be your next part, your power hour. And if you really don't want to message two more people a day, you don't have to because you've already started conversations with three people from your posts, three from your stories. And so that's already six people a day, which is fantastic. This right here kind of adds that extra layer for you because this is you intentionally reaching out to people that are already active, that are already friends with you, that maybe you haven't connected with in a long time. So if you're doing it here as part of the power hour on top of the, the original one, you're now talking it 
eight people a day, right? That you're intentionally connecting with via messenger, which is a great thing. Anniversaries and birthdays. You know, this is another layer. You can go through and see who had birthdays and anniversaries today. Facebook makes it pretty simple to see that. So just go say happy birthday. It's a friendly thing to do and people will remember you. And then the next one, reply to comments and comment on, on posts and groups. Um, and then the last one, add 10 suggested friends to your network. So that's probably the hardest part because many of your people are like, gosh, I don't want to add people that spammy. You don't want to add strangers. That's true. For me, I like to add people who engage with me on other people's posts, you know, because that tends to happen when you're, when you're consistent and you're commenting on other people's posts, you'll find people you don't even know that will engage with your comment. And then um, that would be a good person to add as a friend, right? Or you're going to add people in groups that you're commenting in. So, as far as groups go, you want to find groups that are related to your niche. So, for example, you might find beauty or fashion or jewelry groups, but don't limit yourself. Find groups that you have interest in, like fishing or crochet or some other hobby you love, or you know, if you're a mom or if you're a, if you're a, a homeschool mom or those kinds of groups, right? And then you can comment on posts. You can make posts. You can start adding friends organically that way with the people that engage with you. And then another thing, and, and then and then when the time is right or when it feels right, then you can add them as friends, right? You can start conversations with them and take it in the messenger. Another thing you can do is go through your suggested friends list. So Facebook has this for everybody. Um, these are the people that you have mutual friends with. You're not necessarily friends with them, but it will say, hey, Facebook suggests that you might want to be friends with these people, right? So usually I'd like to find the one person at the very top where it says you have like 87 mutual friends and I'll check them out and see if I like them to see if there's somebody that maybe I like their vibe or, um, or their profile and if they're a pretty positive person and then I'll add them as a friend. And so you just want to do that 10 a day. I know that a lot of people don't like to do this, but this is going to get you out of your comfort zone and you're going to meet a lot of new people. This is how you're going to build on the line so you don't have to go and deliver orders and go meet people face to face, right? Then the next part is 15 minutes of social media posts. So right here. So um, so you're going to post on Facebook, Instagram, etc. Three to five video story sequence or story graphics, you know, reels and TikToks. Um, as you can see, that's also part of the daily checklist. So if you already did that before you did the power hour, then you don't have to do it again. You can actually get your work done now in 45 minutes instead of 60, right? And then um, 15 minutes prospecting leads and people you like. So reply to people watching stories. Reply to those commenting on your posts. Uh, start three conversations every day. This reflects the daily checklist there. So transition questions about business or products. Um, check in. Ask customers for referrals. Go for two a day. You might want to create a referral program. I, you know, Avon doesn't have one really, but you can incentivize people to share your stuff. Maybe share your link or share your information or share your posts, things like that. Because then you can give them like a $5 gift card if they bring you a new customer, or you can send them a, a little Avon gift. I mean, it can be as simple as a package of Avon samples, something you could fit in an envelope and mail. You know, the same thing in your VIP group. If you haven't already started a VIP group, you might want to do that too. And then you can incentivize people to check out your stuff. And then the last 15 minutes is follow-up. Follow-up is critical to your business. People that you're starting conversations with, people that you've given info about products, people you've asked for referrals or recent orders, and people that you shared the opportunity with. So that's how your power hour works, not to be confused with your daily checklist. So your daily checklist is kind of here to help you get everything done. And then the power hour is kind of the bare minimum, get it done, I only have an hour, let's get it done today, right? For you to show up on social media, here's what we recommend minimum that you do on social media. Even if you can't post five stories a day, post three. If you can't post two Facebook posts a day, post one. If you can't start 10 conversations, post three or start three. And then upload a reel to um, TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. And, and that's really reflected here in your power hour on your 15 minutes of social media prospecting. So, okay. So now let's go into this cheat sheet, the simple business tracker cheat sheet. So on the um, simple, on the business tracker cheat sheet, it's basically all of the scripts that can help you have those conversations. Um, you'll figure out your own as you go, but this is just to give you some ideas, right? 
And you can see there's lots of opportunities to start conversations, to follow up with conversations, to reply to, reply to people. And you may be thinking, well, I don't know how to do that. Well, guess what? Right here, you've got it, right? When you add new friends, hey, thanks for connecting. I see you live in X. Is that where you're from originally? Or, oh, awesome, I live in X. I saw that we had mutual friends, so I thought I would add you. You know, prospecting your story viewers. Hey, thanks for checking out my stories. How's it going? Or that's really cool. Were you wanting some information on the products that I use or were you just browsing? These are people that are just watching your stories and so you're just gonna naturally ask them, hey, do you want a little information on what I showcase here or were you just checking this out, right? Um, and then there's some optional closes and, um, and then maybe you sent some info, right? You um, you sent info and you need to follow up, right? Or you could start conversations with your current friends. So it's all here. It's all here. And then let's go down to transitioning questions um, into business, right? Um, this one's going to be the one that you're really going to want to pay attention to when you start those organic conversations from just being active and connecting with people on social media. You've got to transition at some point. Because if you're just being friendly, nobody's ever going to join you or know that you even sell Avon or, or ask you about products, right? But you can transition into a question, into a product, um, an opportunity or a product to ask. So this is a breakdown when it comes to our simple business tracker. So there, there's your questions, right? And it, it, it keeps going. And then there's there's one for testimonials and, you know, how you can follow up with the testimonials. And then I gave you some resources, um, those links that I promised you. So I hope that I was able to, to explain this to you in a way that makes sense. Use it every day for your business. Start small. If you're a little overwhelmed with all the things, then just start with a daily checklist and do that for the first week and see how it goes. What kind of traction are you getting? Are you getting more viewers? Are you getting more comments? Are people paying attention to your content? Are you starting to get sales? Are you starting to get people to notice you? You know, if so, then you can start transitioning into that daily power hour and the follow-up Friday and start using those scripts. You know, obviously, the more you can do, the more you want to do, the more that you do for your business, the faster your business will grow. But if you're at least doing something every day, at least on the days that you can't do, you know, the effort, then that still is going to help you, right? So I hope you found this helpful. As a friendly reminder, if you're wondering what to post on your feed, on your news feed, be sure to check out the 150 social media post ideas document that I've listed be below the video so that you can organically show up on your social media and attract the right people to you so that you can start to grow that thriving business online. Anyway, thanks for being here. I really appreciate you. Have a great day.